9. Most Important Ways of Overcoming Temptation Today I'm going to put you through on the major 9, important ways and steps in overcoming and guiding you over temptations. Sometime, when we want to study or listen to God message, at first it might seem boring, but when all the fingers seem to point at you, then you will absolutely believe that your conscience cannot lie. Dealing with Temptation When dealing with temptation, Jesus Christ taught us how to pray to God. According to Matthew 6:13, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil one Martin Luther King Jr. wrote in his explanation of this prayer. He said, God tempts no one. We pray in this petition that God would guard and keep us, so that the devil, the world, and our sinful nature may not deceive us or mislead us into false belief, despair, and other great shame and vice. Although we are attacked by these things, we pray that we may finally overcome them and win the victory. A famous poster of the comic strip character, Charlie Brown, says I can resist everything except temptation. The truth is, if we try to resist temptation to sin only in our own strength, we will fail. We need God's help. In the Bible, God promises to help us to have victory over temptation as we use the resources he provides for us. Steps in Overcoming Temptation 1. Avoid places, people, and things that tempt you. Romans 13, 14, But put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh, to fulfill its lusts. Do no think about how to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. You already know your own weaknesses. You may feel discouraged by your frequent failures to resist temptation to a particular sin. If you often give in to a certain sin when you are in a certain place, don't go near that place. If certain friends pull you down, don't go with them. If you regularly buy something that is destroying you morally, spiritually, physically, or financially, shop at a different store. If something in your home tempts you beyond your ability to resist, get rid of it. If your debt is out of control, cut up your credit cards. Recovering alcoholics and drug addicts understand this principle very well. For some people, it means finding new friends. For other people, it means driving home a different route, in order to avoid driving past the bars. In the past we could tell men, if you want victory over pornography, throw out the porn that you already have and don't bring any more home. But now with porn easily accessible through the internet and cable TV, the challenge is greater. So the need is even greater to make difficult choices and figure out ways to make tempting material inaccessible. To flee temptation, the Bible does not tell us that we should compete with temptation but rather warns we should submit unto him and resist the devil and it shall flee away. James 4 7 Submit unto God and resist the devil and it shall flee away from you but in the issue of sexual immoralities, we were encouraged to flee and stay away from such places and person that cause us to be arose unto temptation because fornication is a spiritual manipulated engineer by Queen of Coast. 1 Corinthians 6 18, flee sexual immorality run away from the worship of idols. 1 Timothy 6 9 9-11 those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue after righteousness, godliness, faith, love patience, gentleness those who want to become rich bring temptation to themselves and are caught in a trap. They want many foolish and harmful things that ruin and destroy people. The love of money causes all kinds of evil. Some people have left the faith, because they wanted to get more money, but they have caused themselves much sorrow. But you, man of God, run away from all those things. 2 Timothy 2.22, flee also youthful lusts. But run away from the evil young people like to do. How do we do this? When you unexpectedly find yourself in a tempting situation, get out fast. Don't be so foolish as to think you can stay in the situation but not give in to temptation. Joseph gives a good example in Genesis 39 11 12 Be honest with yourself. 
The real reason you stay in a tempting situation is because curiosity overwhelms you. We foolishly think that we can enjoy temptation without actually giving in to sin. Temptation often comes to us at unexpected times and in unexpected places. And we are not always able to get away from it. So often I have seen so many born-again Christian falling into this trap. Seeing them at the altar confessing and doing their restitution it's always break my heart. So what should we do then? 3 Prayer The only temptation that has come to you is that which everyone has. But you can trust God, who will not permit you to be tempted more than you can stand. But when you are tempted, he will also give you a way to escape so that you will be able to stand it. 1 Corinthians 10 13 We are not strong enough to resist temptation alone. We need God's help. When you see temptation coming, immediately cry out and plead for the blood of Jesus Christ, shout out in loud voice Lord, help me show me your way of escape. The next steps are some of those ways that God will show us to escape from temptation. 4 Quote scripture and relate unto God about that temptation. Jesus answered, it is written in the scriptures. Matthew 4 colon 4, 7 comma 10, Luke 4 colon 4 comma 8 comma 12. When you are facing strong temptations, you can do the same as Jesus did when he was tempted. God's word is a powerful weapon against the lies of Satan. God's word also gives us wisdom and direction when we face difficult decisions. God's final answer to temptation is found in the Ten Commandments. Memorize the Ten Commandments. After that, study Matthew 5, 6, and 7 where Jesus applies the Ten Commandments to everyday life. The Old Testament book of Proverbs and the New Testament letters of Paul are filled with wise counsel that can help defend you against temptation. The trick is to learn that counsel before temptation hits, so you will have a dense against temptation. 5. Remember that sin always has consequences. Romans 6:23 For the wages of sin is death. Our sins are never secret. God sees and knows them all. When we deliberately choose to sin, we reject God's authority as God, and we remove ourselves from his protection. We see this cycle played out repeated in Israel's history through the whole Old Testament. Even though we may not recognize it, sin always has destructive consequences. The Bible is full of examples of small sins that eventually destroyed people's lives. Eve's desire to be wise as God and Adam's failure to protect her according to Genesis 3, Cain's hatred of his brother Abel Genesis 4, Abraham and Sarah's impatience Genesis 16, David's lust 2 Samuel 11, Solomon's polygamy 1 Kings 11, greed and dishonesty Joshua 7, 1 Samuel 15, John 12, Acts 5 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 6 Recognized that temptation is a hook baited with a lie. You were taught, with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Ephesians 4 22-25 Notice that Bible calls sinful desires deceitful. That means they lie. The tempter says, do this, and you will feel good. Wrong. That is a lie. Just remember the last time you gave in to temptation and how bad you felt afterward. Remember how disappointed you were with yourself. The tempter cannot warn you about that. After yielding unto such temptation, the guilt of that sin will continue to pump painful memories of regret, then you will assume that giving unto temptation is not worth of. 7. Recognize the danger of the second look. One night David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. From the roof he saw a woman bathing, 2 Samuel 11 2 King David did not sin when he first saw Bathsheba bathing. His sin started when he decided to keep looking at her. The moment a temptation comes, you have less than one second to decide what do to flee. Or look away, cry out to God. Give in. That is why many Christian falls into snares of sin. 
Every good soldier trained for battle already knows what to do before the battle comes. Every Christian needs to know how to respond to temptation before temptation strikes. 8. Picture in your mind Christ's suffering on the cross for that specific sin which tempts you. Christ carried our sins in his body on the cross so we would stop living for sin and start living for what is right. And you are healed because of his wounds. 1 Peter 2 24, our sins caused Jesus to suffer and die. Do we really despise our Savior so much that we would deliberately add to the horrors of hell that he suffered for us on the cross? 9 Confess your habitual sins and failures to another Christian and become accountable to him or her about your particular weakness. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so God can heal you. When a believing person prays, great things happen. James 5, 16. Tell only a person whom you can trust to keep your confession secret. That person also must be gentle, patient, wise, and mature. And that person must know God's word. When we confess our specific sins and receive God's specific forgiveness, he frees us from the bondage of guilt we have for those sins. The loosens Satan's hold on us to keep dragging us down. And when a Christian brother or sister encourages us and counsels us from God's word, we receive more of God's gifts for faithfully living the Christian life. Summary 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Avoid places, people, and things that tempt you. Flee temptation. When temptation hits, pray, Lord, show me your way of escape. Quote scripture against temptation. Remember sin always has consequences. Remember sin always has consequences. Remember sin